Hello, curling fans, and welcome back inside the Nutana Curling Club here in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, the 2024 SGI Canada Best of the West. John Cullen here with you for what promises to be a very exciting morning. It's a University of Alberta battle. Team Graceland Richards against Team Serena Gray Withers. Richards sitting at 1-1, one one, Gray Withers sitting at 2-0, and oh, so a big game for both teams here this morning. Excited to be here with you. For now and forever, it feels like. It's only day two, so we've got uh, a lot more curling here to come, and this should be a, a fantastic game between two teams from Edmonton. So Team Grey Withers here starting with the hammer by virtue of the last stone draw. You'll notice so only the single sweeper here for Team Richards. Unfortunately, uh, Rachel Jakes fallen ill, so is uh, not expected to play for the remainder of the weekend here for Wild Card 2, Team Richards. So they'll be playing three-handed. And we get our first look here at Zoe Cinnamon and Team Serena Grey Withers, the recent 2024 U Sports champion for Canada. They were uh, victorious over Waterloo in the final. And I was uh, talking to them before the game. They said they're uh, waiting to find out if they'll be in the Universiade or not. That's uh, coming up in Italy. They won't find out until July. They have to apply for... They have to apply for uh, a spot in the Universiade. Only the remaining three, or sorry, the top three teams from the last Universiade getting in. I'm just trying to figure out exactly what the call is here. I don't, I have to admit, I'm a little confused as to what they were planning there. I guess just peeling off that that yellow guard. In any case, because of the five rock rule, running it straight back there, Amy Wheatcroft, will result in the rock being replaced. So anyway, yeah, back to Grey Withers. It's only the, uh, the three teams that uh, finished in the top three in the last University Odd, plus the host plus the next host that get guaranteed and then the uh, remaining spots have to be applied for. So Team Grey Withers have applied and uh, are hoping to get into the University Odd in 2026 or 2025 rather, sorry. Sorry, I missed it a double time. So nice draw around there for Zoe Cinnamon and the freeze called here for Amy Wheatcroft. Up this land. As a, uh, a BC man, this uh, this team Richards very familiar to me. Both Amy and Graceland Good. cut their teeth in the uh, the BC junior ranks before Good. being recruited by the University of Alberta to play in their Good. pandas Good. curling program led by Good. Rob Kreps. Graceland is a, a former BC U18 champion. Where? Top well, uh, whoa, whoa. Still a, uh, a U20 whoa. team as well. They came third at the uh, Alberta U20s this season. They also made the Alberta Scotties. And it'll come up just a little short for Amy Wheatcroft. So call to split the house now for Brianna Cullen. Have to say, pretty great last name. Brianna is only 22 years old and has already far surpassed my accomplishments in the curling world, but. Where? Back in if you can. Hard. Hard, you gotta go. Don't want to set up a double here. Hard for T line. Go, 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 go. And that's very nice from Brianna. 
So Team Graceland Richards out of the Savile Sports Centre in Edmonton, Alberta. Skip Graceland Richards, third Sophie Ryherchuk, second Rachel Jakes, who as we said, not playing today, and lead Amy Wheatcroft. Would love to get a little bit of a roll here, but I think that's just going to find the nose. And this team Grey Withers also out of the Savile Sports Center in Edmonton, Alberta. Skip is Serena Grey Withers. Third, Catherine Clifford. Second, Brianna Cullen. And lead, Zoe Cinnamon. Maybe the best name in curling, other than Brianna Cullen, Zoe Cinnamon. Don't want to roll out here if you're Cullen. Clean. Nice. And that will find the nose. It's pretty gradual. Look at the music. So a little bit of a steeper angle now for Sophie Ryherchuk. get a bit of a roll but not fully buried or into that red stone and I think Amy, now Amy, that we've I need you saying a weight unit say like medium or medium we will see Catherine Clifford try to roll underneath these corner guards now and with the way those corner guards are staggered if Catherine could get underneath could maybe uh Set this Gray Withers team on a on a path to a crooked number here. Although this is this is hanging. So they're calling the audible. Going to try to roll away from the guards and end up just on the nose. We have seen on this sheet too so far this weekend that uh, it's very release sensitive. If you're just a little out out to the broom, it really hangs. And I think that's what we saw from Catherine there. Just a, a positive release, and it didn't really come back towards the stone. So I think now we're gonna see Sophie chase the double here. It's pretty steep, but even if you roll kind of just in that vicinity, it's pretty good. This is really curling. And what a shot, very nice from Sophie Ryherchuk. Fantastic. Makes the double and fully buried behind that series of guards. Let's take another look. Right on the money. Very nice. I think we have to play this one. Do you guys ever like the top one? Three quarters? I don't mind this because if you feel it's plan B, it's not bad. You got it. So a double try here for Catherine Clifford. You'd also love to potentially roll the shooter onto the rings. This curled right out of a hand. Ends up making the double peel, but will she get that second yellow stone out the back? Can't really tell from my angle here. I think she's gonna draw here. Okay. I think we need to be shot over here. All right, let's go T-line. I'm seeing here. All right. I think Is it gonna go? I don't see it. Yeah, do you like there? Yeah, I do. Okay. This is fresh pass, so there should be good. Yeah. So just over curling a little there for Catherine Clifford and now Gracelyn Richards is gonna split the house here. Try to force Serena to a single point. Be full T here. Back four plays. Okay. Does look like that back one is maybe just nibbling the rings. So this is totally fresh pass. This would be to lie three here, I believe, for Graceland. Okay. 
There we go. There's a good look at it there. Certainly looks in from that angle. So the main thing here for Richards with her first in the first is you just don't want to set up a double where Serena would maybe have the chance to make the double and stick it behind that corner guard. So anything, anything deeper than the Yellowstone in the house is good. So Amy Wheatcroft trying to drag this one. Sophie Ryherchuk is now out to, Ryherchuk is out to sweep it. I'm going to get that pronunciation at some point. So this is interesting in the first end here. We're going to see Serena ignore all three yellow stones and draw around this corner guard here. So I think you might you might see some teams play a hit and roll here or just try to maybe play a little safer, but Serena playing aggressively here, which uh, is nice to see. It's not like they're in any danger of giving up a steal, at least at the moment. So out of the hand, sounding like a, a little light is the call from Brianna Cullen. Just have to make sure you're buried here. And that's pretty nice from Serena Gray Withers. It's completely buried from the hack. Amy. No, I think we're just freezing. Yeah. Just here. Okay. Uh, she hit here with her base, so I'm probably seeing here. Yep. I think I'll, like as long as we're here at least, right? Yeah. So no choice here but to follow for Gracelyn Richards. As you heard her say, just kind of anywhere in front of this red one, as long as your shot is pretty good. It would be pretty tough for Serena to remove it and score two. So really anywhere biting the forefoot in front of that red will do. Yeah, it's fully buried, so. Obviously, if you're right down to it, it's ideal. So last rock here for Gracelyn Richards. Felt similar. One's good. Needs a freeze to Line's not good. give up a two. Tight. Tight. Line's good. Line's, Line's good. good. Where? Room. No, room. Whoa. Room. 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 No bounce. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Straight. Yep. Yep. Straight. Hard. Have to make sure this stays for shot. Don't want to over curl. And that is lovely from Gracelyn Richards. Fantastic shot. And so Serena Gray Withers will be forced to draw for one. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Very well managed by Amy Wheatcroft. Always tough when you're the, the only sweeper out there, but put that yellow in a perfect spot. So shade more broom, but Serena will need half of the forefoot here. Final stone of the first end. Serena Gray Withers needs half of the forefoot. Cullen and Cinnamon starting to pick it up now. It's on a hair different path than her last one. 
and that's no problem for the skip from the Savile. So they will pick up one. We'll get our first look at Richards with the hammer in the second end. There's no doubt running any kind of farm comes with day-to-day -day challenges. We built a new facility two years ago. Technology has totally revolutionized dairy farming. Fast Milk gives us the tools to provide high quality standard of milk, making sure our equipment is all well taken care of, make sure that those animals are housed and cared for appropriately. They continue to push us with their standards to make sure that it just gets better and better. The live sports experience is changing. Teams and facilities are under pressure to provide online and in-venue entertainment. IKS Live has the right team to deliver. We provide service across North America and produce the best fan experience in the seats or streaming to you. IKS Live continues to bring you the best seat in the house. So a strong first end for Team Richards, forcing Serena Gray Withers to a single point. They have the hammer here in the second end. You're watching the SGI Canada Best of the West. These two teams have played each other twice already this year. It was uh, two wins for Serena Gray Withers, a close game at the Savile Grand Prix. Gray Withers winning that one 6-5, and then at the Alberta Scotties. Gray Withers walked away with a 10-3 win, so I'm sure Richards would love some revenge here. And corner guard up for Amy Wheatcroft after Zoe Cinnamon's Rock slid to the back eight with her first. So deciding not to throw a guard there, throwing that one into the house onto the button, and now we will see Graceland Richards chase after it. Very nice there from Amy Wheatcroft. Makes the double. Doesn't quite get buried behind that corner guard, but very nice shot. Easy. 
So a hit called here for Brianna Cullen. I would guess they would like to roll away here as I was uh, making my notes for the tournament and uh, Serena Gray Withers had quite the year on tour as this will actually roll away, but the other way and out of the rings. But Team Gray Withers played 73 games this season. They were in 14 spiels, which is pretty unbelievable. Definitely one of the busier, if not the busiest schedule in the field. They're also the highest ranking team in this best of the West field. They're currently ranked number 24 in the world. As I said, they won the, uh, the U Sports Championship a few weeks ago. They also won the uh, U25 Next Gen Classic over Time! Abby Marks in the final. And they were the Alberta Scotties what? bronze medalists losing the semifinal what? to Kayla Skirlick. So very impressive young team. Sophia Rai-Horchak trying to get that one around the corner guard. It just wicks off. Five, three. Her and been five, now we'll five, see three. the yeah, come around called. So nice shot there from Brianna Cullen. Doesn't quite get fully buried. You can see there it's uh, maybe about a third open from the hack for Sophia. But they're going to call the run back here. If you hit this one right on the nose, you maybe would get a roll behind the corner guard. I want to apologize to the Bry Horchuk family, who I know are watching for calling their daughter Sophie for the first end. You always get reprimanded by the families when you're a commentator, which I appreciate. I don't know why I wrote down Sophie. Maybe I got to stop uh, making my broadcast notes at uh, 1 a.m. Maybe that's maybe that's a lesson learned for me. Sophia making the run back there, but does roll out. So. Another chance here for Gray Withers to get buried around that guard. Definitely a bit of a wider line than Brianna's rock. Zoe Cinnamon trying to bring this one over. Hard number off. Go, 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 go. Keep going so hard, hard. Yeah, it's a pretty nice sweep there. It ends up in almost the same spot. It was definitely a, a hair wider line than Brianna's. So same shot here for Sophia. Another run back. Medium. You can see there it's, uh, yeah, even a little bit more buried. So nice sweep there from Zoe. So you hear Grace and Richard say, just uh, not quite on the broom there for Sophia. And especially with that, uh, that bigger weight we have seen on this sheet two all week. Well, the last 36 hours that I've been watching the sheet anyway. Definitely if you're a little wide with that heavier weight, it's very difficult for the stone to get any curl. So 
so Catherine Clifford will try to okay, you have the cross. You can go. guard this stone here. Even if, yeah, you gotta go. We're just tight. You really gotta go. Gotta go hard. You gotta go hard. Hard. Go hard. 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 Keep going. Hard. Go, 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 go. Okay. Okay. Seven, and that's seven. the wrong side of the rock to guard, unfortunately, for Team Alberta 1. If anything, if you're going to leave a piece of it open, you would have wanted to leave the center line side open because now this gives Sophia a chance to hit and roll behind their yellow corner. You can see there it's not quite fully open, but about three quarters. So a little lucky that the uh, red catcher was sitting right there. And so it does stay in the rings for Sophia Rihorchuk. They certainly weren't trying to roll all the way over there, but sticks in the rings and may force a chase here from Serena. Okay. This should move. Yeah. But if we're buried behind the center. So you could hear Brianna and Zoe talking about uh, maybe having Serena draw around the center here, but. You don't like wrapping our center? It's a little high. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I think the concern here is that the center guard's a little bit high. You'd almost have to, if you were going to come around that center guard, you'd almost want to be just full 12, maybe biting eight, and then Graceland Richards could draw around it. So I think it's, yeah, I think this is probably the right call. Early indications from the sweepers are that this is through the house. Back 12, yeah. Whoa. Nothing at all from Cullen and Cinnamon. And will this hang on for shot? Oh boy. It's really close. Graceland seems to think it is Gray Withers that's sitting shot. It's us? I think so. So that was pretty sneaky. I was like... So they're going to go around the center guard. I'm, if they think it's red that shot stone, I may be a little surprised by this. I think it curls enough that you'd, you could probably throw a heavy draw and just push that red out of the rings or push it enough that you lie too and force a chase out of Serena, so. No, I don't think you can throw a 4-5 right now. No. But certainly a, an opportunity to, to score two going this way as well. As I said, I think ideally you'd be in the top 12 or top eight. I think something in the, in the forefoot would be chaseable for Serena. Nothing yet from Amy Wheatcroft. Curl. No! And Four, seven. again, a little deeper than they might have liked, but it did <laughs> curl a bit at the end, Don't so. Sweep that. <laughs> so we aren't gonna see Serena chase it. She's just gonna freeze on top of it and try to shrink the Richard scoring area. 
And I don't mind this call either. If you ever did try to chase it and you miss it, it does potentially bring three into play for Richards. So even with this, as long as you're around the center guard, even if you're top 12 or top eight, as long as you're out counting the back one, you're never giving up more than two. And obviously if you freeze right down onto it, be a very small area for Graceland Richards to draw to. So last rock here for Serena Gray Withers and this once again looks a little bit hot. Starting to move now, you do not want to bounce here. And that is pretty much perfect from Serena Gray Withers. Maybe just over curled a hair does give uh, Graceland a, maybe a bit of a wider path to the button. If that was corner frozen, then it may have been a little more difficult. That was a five, six but to uh, still a nice right? shot. So it will be full four here for Graceland Richards two, to score two. From that last one. Okay, this is going to be a little bit wider path. Okay, so you just have to be, sorry, where is there? It's full top door. Yes, you need to bite the button. Okay. Final stone, end number two. Similar. Team Wildcard two looking for two. Need full forefoot. This is a wider path than we've seen any of the previous rocks here. And it has not yet caught the curl. Will it get enough of the forefoot? Yes, it does. Very nice shot from Graceland Richards. I will put a pair up on the board. They lead 2-1. To be a successful farmer, you have to love what you do. Our farm is very much a family-run farm. It takes a lot more to run a family and run a dairy farm. But that means that we call upon grandmas and grandpas to help look after the kids. We spend a lot of time with our family, and we love it that way. We get up every morning going out to the barn knowing that we do this because it's a passion. I can't really describe it any other way. When you buy a lottery ticket in Saskatchewan, your money really goes a long way. More than 12,000 sport, culture, and recreation groups receive funding from Sask Lotteries every year. So a well-played second end for Team Wildcard 2 and Graceland Richards. They put two on the board and lead 2-1 here in the third end. Yes. This is the third draw of the women's round robin play here at the SGI Canada Best of the West. Serena Gray Withers, the top-ranked team in the field, sitting at 2-0. Graceland Richards at 1-1. One one. 
So for Graceland, you'd love to get that second win and you'd love to pull Serena back to the field. And uh, maybe a bit of an interest, a, 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 a bit of an interesting call by Serena Gray Withers as the first rock in the house for Amy Wheatcroft and Serena electing to hit it. So we'll see if it's a, a delayed corner or if they're uh, going to blank this third end. And so it is the delayed corner here. We have, uh, we've seen quite a few teams in the field here uh, electing to use that strategy, particularly if the first stone from their opposition, the first lead stone is in a really good spot. Cullen and Clifford working hard to get this Eight. over. Okay. And Ten, they do. Five. I think this way is harder. So just a guard here for Wheatcroft. Clean, line's getting good, line's good. Biting. Stay close to the curl, curl. Whoa, whoa. Biting. Okay, you're good, just leave it, just leave it. That's a good spot, five nine. So good slips touch. into the rings, but is right in front of that yellow stone. This will give the opportunity though for a double and roll for Brianna Cullen. didn't even hit the correct side of the stone that uh, Brianna was going I for there. The Just tight. Yeah. So we'll see Sophia Rihorchuk attempt to okay. maybe do the same as Amy, but uh, four or five feet higher. Nice guard there from Sophia, and we will once again see a double attempt. Does make contact with the stone in the house, but does not remove it, and uh, unfortunately leaves their red up as a quasi center guard for Team Richards. Team Richards wanted me to give a shout out to one of their sponsors, Cellar Door Advisors. Kelly, if you're watching, thank you for supporting curling. Little bit 
it's one of the nice things that the uh, the best of the West allows, having all the uh, sponsors on the jackets. It's so nice to have the provincial colors and the wildcard colors out here on the ice in Saskatoon, but also to allow the teams to show support for their sponsors. As obviously none of these teams could do it without them. And of course, thank you to our sponsors, SGI Canada, Sask Milk, Sask Lotteries, Cherry Insurance, a whole host of fantastic companies here that uh, help this event run. Would you like to play like this? Sophia Stone just slightly over curling, as you can see there. You can see a good third of that stone from the hack. So the chase here for Catherine Clifford. was definitely more weight than Serena was expecting. I think she was just hoping for a, just a small tap and Catherine, that was hack, maybe even hack plus. So just never caught the curl and this is a really good opportunity now for Sofia Rajorczak. If you could ever draw a second one in there, it's gonna be very difficult for Serena Gray Withers to score here. So just a little Thanks, light okay. there from Sophia, okay. which causes the over curl, but That's a good missile. now it's a, a symphony of guards in front of the house I here. And the problem for Gray Withers here. is the way the guards are lined up, you can't really get rid of all of them. I think you're almost always yeah. leaving a center guard Sorry. here. But uh, just uh, try to do some damage here if you're Catherine Clifford, get two of them moving at least. And so they do get two moving, but they do leave that center guard, and it is still yeah, Team Wildcard 2. Gracelyn Richards, line one. Top four. Okay. Makes it really hard for her, right? And then lights the miss. It's a J. We just never right? want to be, like, we got to be here, right? Very. Um, yeah, it's still, it's, it's less of a J. A little bit more of, like, a banana. Okay. But it will J at the end. All right. I'm seeing there. That's where I gave you, and okay. it should be good. Okay. 16. Wow, I, I can't say I've ever heard curling teams refer to the trajectory of the rock before, but this is apparently going to be more like a J and less like a banana. So I'm now going to spend the next 10 minutes trying to figure out what that means. Light tolerance. What was my last time again, sorry? It was a five flat, so I think you need like seven feet left. I would agree. Okay, you want to bite the four. Just make sure you're still nibbling the center line. Okay. So looking to apply some pressure here is Gracelyn Richards already lying one. Would love to tuck a piece behind the center guard and lie two here. Line looks very good here. Keep going, keep going. Don't want this to curl too much more. And I think that's in a pretty good spot for Team Richards. 
And I'm joking. Obviously, I know what that means. My name starts with J. I think middle for me. Just means the rock hangs straighter for longer, curls at the end, as opposed to the banana, which has a more gradual curve. Three quarters. Have to say, that was uh, more of a banana than a J. I like that. I like these terms. It's good. Anytime I can add some stuff to my lexicon, I'm happy yeah, about it. So, so the triple is probably there for Serena Gray Withers. Certainly not easy. But it's about the only option she has here with her first. is a little tight out of the hand and will that one get out no it will not just hangs on so like five feet more good attempt from Serena but leaves the center guard up and leaves one yellow in the house so this is a, a nice situation if you're Graceland Richards if you make the draw perfectly behind yeah if you make the draw around the center guard then you have a chance to steal. And really, as long as you get it anywhere in the house, you're forcing. So this is very comfortable situation to be in here if you're Team Wildcard. Okay, I think four. Full four. Close to the button as you can get. This is a hair wider line here for Graceland Richards. Got to get off that corner guard. You got to get off that corner guard. Oh my goodness. Well, that was fortunate. That was definitely more like a J than a banana. Just that little extra weight. <laughs> and as I said, you just had to get that second yellow stone in the house here to force Serena Gray Withers, and that's what they've Easy. done. If I know, I'm pretty sure we're shot, but we're playing for the little roll away. Just to make sure. Yeah, I like it. So you heard there from Serena, they think if they knows their shot, but uh, obviously you'd love to leave no doubt and have a little bit of a roll either way. Final stone. And that's no trouble there for Serena Gray Withers, but uh, Graceland Richards channeling the power of the Jedi, using the force here once again. We're tied 2-2, and Richards will have the hammer in the fourth.
storms are coming. There she goes. <laughs> Yay! I'm gonna need a new tractor. So it's been a well-played game here so far from both teams, but Graceland Richards, the power trio, so far having the better of the action. Another force for Team Richards, and it's now tied 2-2. Richards with the hammer here in the fourth end. So Rihorchuk and Richards trying to bring this one over and behind that center, and they will. Little light, though, so we'll see Zoe Cinnamon wrap around everything as uh, we'll get you a score update from the other sheets out here at the SGI Canada Best of the West. Right beside us, it's Taylor Reese Hansen, British Columbia 1, all over Emily Cherwinski. So far, they lead 5-1. to one. Right beside them, it is... Christy Watling being skipped this weekend by Rachel Katz up against Jessica Wytrychowski. That's tied 2-2. Beside them, it's Team British Columbia 2, Emily Bowles up against Team Saskatchewan 2, Sherry Just. Emily Bowles with a steal in the third end. They lead 3-1. Beside them, it's uh, the other BC team in the field. It's wildcard 2, Holly Halfley. Actually, I think they're wild card four against uh, Team Alberta 2, Kayla Skirlick, Halfley with a four in the second end. They lead four to one. And then all the way at the other end, it's wild card one, Abby Marks up against Saskatchewan one, Bailey Cosma. Abby Marks leading that one 2 one. They're playing the fourth. All right, back to our game. Zoe Cinnamon coming up a little bit short there. So it is still Richards lying one here. And it looks like Good. we're going to see them draw the wing here, potentially. Hard! Hard, you gotta go! Hard, keep going! Gotta get this one off keep of that going. red. And that's a really good sweep there from Sophia Rihorchuk. Good sweep. Good sweep. <laughs> Five. And Richards lies too. So again, just uh, for Grey Withers, it does seem like they're Why did she jump just that positive release and just having a hard time getting those hits to curl the way they want. So we're going to see a repeat throw here from Amy Wheatcroft. Definitely looks like more weight. And they flirted with the red the redstone last time, so gotta make sure you get off of it again here. Keep going for depth. Straight now. And that's another nice shot from Amy. You may recognize her last name, the daughter of Georgina Wheatcroft, Olympian and former world champion. Hit and roll attempt here again for Brianna Cullen. 
Zoe Cinnamon trying to bring this one over, but that will just be right on the nose. It is shot stone, though. Amy was the uh, one of the subjects of a upcoming documentary called Curl Power. Her and her old junior team in BC, the 4K girls, were followed around for four years, Georgina was telling me before the game, and that documentary is going to be debuting at the Hot Docs Festival in Toronto coming up, so looking forward to watching that when it comes out. Maybe hop on a flight to Toronto, who knows. Can't afford to roll too far here. 10-3. Just big extension. And just, uh, again, just if that hit weight is up at all, you're just not so getting the curl. And that one really, uh, really hung there for Sophia. I think this is Min, but... Important shot here for Catherine Clifford now. Looking to promote the red stone. Mine's good. And that rock moves, but not too far. Perfect line, but just uh, not exactly the weight they were hoping for. Does move it up to shot stone, but it's a, a pretty short double. Or, yeah, you do have maybe the little chip off of this yellow. Playing the double here is Sophia yes. Rihorchuk. Yes! Hard! 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 Don't want to move that center guard. They get by and they do get the double and roll. Very nice from Sophia. <laughs> Flirted with that center guard, but uh, ended up with a really lovely shot, making the double and the roll right behind the guard. Very nice. I'm staying out the out. Okay. Hair low, seven eight low. Okay. Trying for the run back double here is Catherine Clifford but okay. we'll drive it right by. And all of a sudden, this is setting up very nicely for Team Richards, especially with Catherine Clifford leaving that red as a corner guard. Like top four, Jeff! Just a quick score update. Team Skirlik, Alberta 2, getting three back against Holly Halfley, so that's now a tie game 4-4. Four, four. Love to get a piece of this one buried. And I think that's pretty good from Sophia. She's had a great game so far. Maybe the key is for the announcer to get her first name wrong and pronounce her last name incorrectly for an end. Tough to know how the universe works, but.
So there's a double here for sure. You maybe could get a little lucky and maybe get all three yellows going. I think with those two yellows being so close together, it is probably there. So they'll miss the stone in the top 12 foot, but they get the double all the same. Sorry. Look like Serena maybe just uh, overthrew that Sorry, one a little bit. Maybe a little more weight than she was anticipating throw. throwing, trying to chase that triple, but still a nice throw. Richard's lying one though. Like nibble the T line is good. Okay. Make sure she's deep enough. I'll let her know. But you might have to come out and help. Yeah. I know. Okay, um, nibble the T line. We're leaving a double if we are any like higher. Than, than biting the tea, like we need to bite tea. So tolerance is like a big bad forest? Yeah, and if, if we're light enough to just nibble the house, that's the tolerance. Okay. Or go even. So then just like six. Okay. Yeah, let's go seven. Okay. So just talking about where they wanted to put it, you heard seven, so they want this one right on the T line. The danger here for Richards is you just don't want to go deep. If you're kind of just behind the T line, then Gray Withers could freeze on top of you and force you potentially. Line's good. Hard done. So you just don't want to be deep and you also don't want to set up a double. Hard, you got a bite. Hard. Just a biter here would be perfect, but it looks like they're running out of rings. And they do, just unfortunate there from Graceland. Do you want to just play peel with here? No. Once it hits that curl, it really does have the weight come off. And that's too bad. This was a, a very well played end from Richards, really set up for two most of the way. And now it looks like they're going to have to settle for a blank. Just throwing easy. Could even get forced if Serena makes a really good roll here. <laughs> yep. Easy. Last rock, yep. Serena Gray Withers. Yep. Hit and roll to try to force. And this one will just find the nose. So, Ten. blank opportunity coming up now. That's fine. Good. Want to go give me a granola Nice. Right there. Thanks. Inside. Inside. Go in the doors. Let's go into it. I don't think we're going to get a lot of movement. Okay. Probably curl a quarter of a rock. Yeah. Do you like firm with this ice with the intern? I mean, we've only seen one intern down this path and it ran pretty straight. They got like a quarter movement, so I think this with firm and my throw should be good. Final stone, fourth end, Graceland Richards. Yeah. 
Looking for the blank. This is really curling. Does it have enough roll? Yes, it does. Nice shot from Richards, but they will be a little bit disappointed not to do a bit better in this end. They were set up for two the whole way. Couldn't pull it off, it's a blank. They'll keep the hammer into five. Running any kind of farm comes with day-to-day -day challenges. We built a new facility two years ago. Technology has totally revolutionized dairy farming. Fast Milk gives us the tools to provide high quality standard of milk, making sure our equipment is all well taken care of, make sure that those animals are housed and cared for appropriately. They continue to push us with their standards to make sure that it just gets better and better. Storms are coming. There she goes. <laughs> Yay! I'm gonna need a new tractor. Welcome back, curling fans. Continuing coverage here of the SGI Canada Best of the West. Women's round robin draw number three. It's Team Alberta one, Serena Gray Withers against Team Wildcard two, Graceland Richards. And this has been a very tight game all the way through. We're tied 2-2. Richards has the hammer here playing the fifth. These two University of Alberta rivals. I think it's harder to get over here. So Zoe Cinnamon just this clipping that center guard. Okay. And Richards will have the opportunity to lie too here. So Graceland Richards out to help here. They're trying to split the rings. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Okay, good sweep, that's fine. And that's a really nice sweep from Bye. Sophia and Graceland. Just can't quite get that Wheatcroft stone into the rings. I think 
it's okay with my altar and my bed. So a hit and roll now for Brianna Cullen. So no roll there, but it is the shot stone at the top of the rings. I like, sorry, let's go medium. It's, it's, we'll get it, just a hair movement, not much. Easy? No, we're going medium. Medium? Okay. Yeah. So searching for a roll here. Hard. Don't want to leave it right there. That's good. It's not too bad. Nine, nine. Now it's a couple corner guards and a center guard up. Gray Withers going to go around the center. Are we thinking it's that straight? Come around attempt here for Brianna Cullen. Catherine Clifford trying to bring this one over. And that is pretty much perfect. What else would you expect from a Cullen? That's perfectly buried, not really a freeze opportunity here. So the double, the run double called. What? Just uh, another quick score update for you. Over on sheet eight, Abby Marks with a huge five in the fourth end. So they now lead Bailey Cosma seven to one. Yeah, really a win there would improve Abby Marks to two and one. And this one just tight out of the hand for Sophia Rihorchuk. And it continues to be Gray Withers lying one. Kayla Skurlick has also climbed all the way back. They were down four to one to Holly Halfley, but they scored three and stole two, and now they lead six four. They're also playing three handed this weekend as uh, their new teammate Margot Fleming played in the Scotties, so ineligible to play here. Very nice shot from Catherine Clifford. Move it now. Did curl a smidge at the end, and I think that that will open up a, an opportunity for Sophia to push this one back. Amy Wheatcroft trying to hold this. Can they get it by that center? 
No. no, no you're, good, you're good. You're good. Good shot. Two four. Gray Withers continuing to lie that one in the forefoot. So guard replacement here for Catherine Clifford. No, you're good, you're good, you're good. And that's a slightly better line, but a little bit higher. So I do, I do still think that stone is chaseable. It's really high. Which way is easier? I see this way. I think this okay, is the call. If you're a little tight, you remove the guard just like the last time. And if you just straight peel here, all you're allowing Gray Withers to do is make a better guard. This is this could represent your best chance to get at it with how high it is. So I think this is the right call here. Let's see if Sophia can squeeze by the guard this time. Croft trying to bring this one over. Trying to bring it over. Do they have enough of the red? They do. Nice shot from Sophia. Does roll into the open though, so Gray Withers could lie to and set up a force here. First stone here, Serena Gray Withers. This is really curling out of the hand. Brianna Cullen trying to hold it. You got to get by this corner guard. Oh my. Oh no. Sorry? I kicked this. Did you affect it? Oh. It was headed this way. Okay, like out? I trust you if you think it's without. The rings. It's probably gonna go to here. Okay, yeah, you can move there. Yeah, there was no way that was gonna end up in the house, I don't um, think. So, good sportsmanship there I mean, from Team Richards. Over here. Like, do we Brianna Cullen here? kicked it and it ended up in the house, and I was kind of thought, yeah. whoa, they have a chance to lie three. That doesn't seem right. Take another look here. So you can see the rock is moving, and then yeah, she just kicks it into the house. Yeah, there's no way that was gonna end up in the rings. But she might just freeze. So they moved it to the right spot. You gotta be tough here. Let her play the hit and roll and hope it gives us a deuce. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm seeing... Do you like there? Yeah. I was giving Amy here. So unfortunately so for Serena, just a little tight out of the hand. Looked like maybe she rolled over it a little bit on release and catches that corner guard. And just like that, Team Richards potentially okay. getting set up for a multiple. Sounds like they're just gonna draw around this guard, maybe leave it biting the top four. You, again, you just, you don't wanna set up some kind of double here and you also wanna make sure you're deep enough that if Serena makes a hit and roll, it's not shot. Okay, 
I think so you probably want to be, good. yeah, fighting top four is probably pretty good. Okay, so then six for sure. Not want to set up a double here. This is running hot. Good. What? It's uh, it's not in the worst position, but yeah, certainly if Serena can make a hit and roll, it would uh, most likely nullify the chance for two. So. Just a little heavy there from Graceland. Didn't quite get the curl they wanted either. It's easy. I'll give you a nice mini set. Hit and roll on top. Taking a bit extra broom too. Was my weight good? I didn't get a set. Like, like, ten seven. Okay. You're good. Within the range. Yeah. You got it. Last rock in the fifth. Serena Gray Withers trying to wriggle her way out of this jam. A hit and roll would do it, but this does look like it's curling a lot again. Cage is clean. And this is not going to be close for the roll. Yeah, just looked like, a, again, a similar throw there from Serena, maybe just coming over the top of it a hair. Same shot. Yeah. And it rolled far enough that uh, Graceland can draw for two. A little bit of a, a two out of nowhere here. It wasn't uh, wasn't an ideal setup. It was almost looking like a steal setup for Serena Gray Withers, but a high guard from Catherine Clifford and Sophia and Graceland have made them pay here. You didn't touch that. Okay. Full four. Let's make it. Just need to bite four here, and that'll put two on the board. Final stone, Graceland Richards. Good. Felt good. Line's good. Moving early. Sophia Ryherchuk out to help Drive here. Line's really good. Hard! Wheatcroft, Ryherchuk, they're leaning on it. Can they get it there? You just need to bite four. And they do. What a sweep. Getting it right to the button. That'll be two on the board for wild card two. They'll take a two point lead into the sixth. Gray Withers will have hammer. Everything I've worked for, everything I've sacrificed, has 
led to this. It's out of your hands now. All the gold medals in the world can't help you now. You can throw the perfect rock and still miss. But it just takes one. You leave it all out there on the ice to leave behind a legacy. was another solid end for Graceland Richards. They put two on the board, and Gray Withers has yet to really have an answer so far. They're going to need to find one here in the sixth. One of those situations where Gray Withers has kept it close enough. You get two here, and you probably still like your chances. You do have to go a little bit hard for the two here. That'll come up a little short for Zoe Cinnamon. I think it's biting. So Amy, Re Amy Wheatcroft can hit this. Short run back here for Amy Wheatcroft, but this is really hanging out there. And we'll miss the red, but peels out their own. I think if you're Richards, you're okay with a blank here. So it's uh, not a bad plan B there from Wheatcroft. So corner guard here for Zoe Cinnamon as we take a peek at our other action around the rings here at the Nutana Curling Club. It is Taylor Reese Hansen continuing to lead Emily Cherwinski. They're up five to two, playing the sixth. Cherwinski with the hammer. Right beside them, it's uh, Watling and Wytrychowski locked in a battle. Watling is leading four to three. They have the hammer in six. Beside them, Emily Bowles, British Columbia 2, is leading Team Saskatchewan 2, Sherry Just 5-2. to two. Just has the hammer. They're also in the sixth. Kayla Skurlick continues her rampage. She's got another steal of two and is now leading Holly Halfley 8-4. to four. And it's a, a very tight game over on Sheet 8 still. Or sorry, no, it's not. Abby Marks got five. They were blocking it. Uh, Abby Marks is leading uh, Bailey Cosma 7-1. So open hit for Amy Wheatcroft made, and we'll see if Serena can get something going behind this lone corner guard. Need this one to slow down. Do not want to give Richards the chance to peel that corner guard. And unfortunately for Brianna Cullen, that slides right through. So Richards can peel this corner and bring the blank into play.
No mistake for Sofia Rihorchuk and does look like a blank is in the offing here. And as I say, that's a, a pretty good spot to be in if you're Richards. You blank, get this one to the seventh of the two point lead. And then even if Gray Withers scores two in the seventh, you got the hammer coming home tied. So that was uh, a big miss for Brianna Cullen sliding through the house there. Guard up. Okay, same way. And Peel called. We will be bringing you coverage all weekend long of the SGI Canada Best of the West here on the Curling Canada and Curling Zone YouTube pages. Thank you so much for joining us if you're here with us now. And that's a good sweep from Amy Wheatcroft to get any roll there. We will be back at 4 p.m. local time. Saskatchewan currently on Mountain Time, so that's 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. It'll be a men's draw, Brett Walter against Damon Bernath. We'll have that for you at 4, and then at 8, we switch back over to the women's coverage. It'll be Kayla Skurlick against Christy Watling, so... Some great games for you today. Keep it locked all day long and all weekend long for fantastic curling coverage here from Saskatoon. Okay. 9-1, good sweep. I like this placement from uh, from Gray Withers. If this rock ever over curls, maybe you get a jam and it rolls to a, a good corner. It's a nice throw from Sophia. Another score update for you. Emily Bowles with a steal of two. They now lead Sherry just seven to two. Bowles looking to pick up their second win of the competition. Also, uh, Abby Marks stealing another point against Bailey Cosma. Marks leading eight to one. They're also looking for their second win. Mine's good. Mine's really good. All you. So Catherine Clifford going to go around this uh, very wide corner guard. Try to put this in a spot where Richards can't chase it. Hard. Hard. And that'll stop just short. No. Over here. Okay. I think like this is really good. So that was a that was a strange one. Didn't look like it was really warping, but uh, at the end the weight really came off and just misses the rings. It'll still be open if she makes it. Like, she's going to freeze, I think, if we go back here. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Right beside us, a big steal of two for Emily Cherwinski, Manitoba 2. Taylor Reese Hansen had a draw to the forefoot, came a little bit heavy. And Cherwinski counted two, so that's 5-4. Reese Hansen has the hammer. They're playing seven. So a smart play here from Graceland. Peeling doesn't really help you. That's always going to leave one rock in play. So just draw to the open and force Serena to have to do something with it. I 
Salt, Bro. same. Line's good. Easy, running, running. Nice shot there from Graceland. Maybe uh, a little higher than they would have liked since this, if Gray Withers does make the roll, they would be in a pretty good spot. They were hoping to have that one T line, maybe T line plus. So I think if you're Gray Withers, you're going all out for the roll here. There's really no danger in doing that. If you roll out, that doesn't really matter. Zoe Cinnamon on this out of the hand. This is close. This is close. Did they overcook it a hair? Will it stop? Oh, just a hair overswept. So close. Here. Yeah, I think there's uh, no danger in doing that for sure. There's a couple stones that uh, Gray Withers could jam. Um, I think this is really good. Okay. Just healing. Yep. Anytime you can make a skip have to think a little bit on their blank attempt is a good thing. So a few options here for Graceland with her last. You can be in the open, but in a spot where a jam could give up a steal. You could also just dead bury it behind these corner guards if the line's really good. Line's good. Line's good. Set up a force that way. No, Wolf. Really running, running. This is uh, definitely, I think, a wider line than they were anticipating. Where? It's a pretty good spot. I have to hit that really thin. That's going to make it very hard, I think, for Gray Withers here. Yeah, none of those are in. Um, this will move here. Yeah. I'm, seeing. I'm seeing there with Peel. The blank is certainly there, but uh, if you hit it too thin, then you're giving up a steal. So very good spot for that one for Graceland Richards. It uh, means Serena's got to hit this one a little thicker than maybe she would have liked. Final stone, Serena Gray Withers yep. has to navigate a little port here for the blank. Yep. And does it roll far enough? She gets through the port. Does it roll far enough? No, it does not. So Graceland Richards putting that last stone in a perfect spot, forcing Serena Gray Withers into one. 
sounds like Catherine Clifford wants to put a biter stick on these. I mean, the rings would have to be pretty severely out for that to be anything, but I guess we'll take a quick look here. And indeed, they are both out. So a perfect shot from Graceland Richards. A force of one. They will have the hammer and a one-point lead in the seventh when we come back. To be a successful farmer, you have to love what you do. Our farm is very much a family-run farm. It takes a lot more to run a family and run a dairy farm. But that means that we call upon grandmas and grandpas to help look after the kids. We spend a lot of time with our family, and we love it that way. We get up every morning, going out to the barn, knowing that we do this because it's a passion. I can't really describe it any other way. The live sports experience is changing. Teams and facilities are under pressure to provide online and in-venue entertainment. IKS Live has the right team to deliver. We provide service across North America and produce the best fan experience in the seats or streaming to you. IKS Live continues to bring you the best seat in the house. So it was looking like a blank in the seventh end, but Graceland Richards with a great draw forced Serena Withers into a really tough blank attempt, couldn't make it. And so Richards in control now, up one with the hammer here in the seventh. Very nice hit and roll from Zoe Cinnamon. I don't, how much? Like there. Freeze? Uh, yeah, I think so. Play a reach? Okay. I don't think we can chase. Yeah, I, I agree. I think if you, I know that the tendency being up one here with the hammer is to maybe want to chase, but if you ever miss it, you know, you're, if you're chasing with hack weight. So if you, if you tip the guard, you're probably leaving it somewhere in the center. And if you fully miss everything, it's a complete disaster. So I like this call. Just get a yellow in the vicinity here. Hard, you gotta go. Hard. Hard, hard, hard. Go, 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 go. Hard. Keep going. Great 
And very nice from Amy Wheatcroft, right on top of that red stone. And we're going to see a second guard up here for Gray Withers. I don't, not with any weight. How much separation? They're dead frozen. Oh. I, I do too. Pause. Yeah, for Gray Withers here, the only thing you can't do is give up two or more. If you force wild card two, that's pretty good. And obviously if you get a steal, that's pretty good too. So I, I like the guard here as well. And we have our first two finals out here. Kayla Skurlick, winners over Holly Halfley and Abby Marks, winners over Bailey Cosma. Oh, and we have our third final, Emily Bowles over Sherry Just. So all three of those teams improving to two and one, Emily Bowles, Kayla Skurlick, Abby Marks. The two Saskatchewan teams fall to 0 oh and three. And Holly Halfley falls to one and two. Top three teams in each pool make the playoffs here. The winners of each pool will get a bye to the semifinals. The remaining four teams will play off. The winner, of course, taking home a $10,000 first prize, 5,000 to second. So it would be a nice amount of money to put in the bank, particularly if you're a university student. So a guard off and a guard going back up here for Brianna Cullen. Pretty much exactly where they wanted it for Brianna Cullen. And we're going to see another peel. So the two remaining games out here right now, both fairly close. Taylor Reese Hansen was leading five to one, but Emily Trewinski has clawed back to five four there in the seventh. It's close. And uh, Christy Watling giving up a steal to Jessica Wytrychowski in the sixth. As uh, that was a little lucky there from. Uh, Sophia Rihorchuk. I didn't even think that was possible. <laughs> I'm just updating the other scores and then that happens. So you can see here, just shades by the guard she was trying to peel, misses her own yellow and <laughs> pokes the red off of being shot stone. Sometimes when you're good, you're also lucky. So yes, anyway, sorry, it's a tied 4-4. Four -four. Why Trichowski and Christy Watling, they're playing the seventh Watling with the hammer. And as I said earlier, Rachel Katz actually skipping that team this week as Christy's not here. Okay. 
both our time? Yeah. Start time out. All right, so we're going to see a timeout here from Team Richards, which will bring Coach Rob Kreps onto the ice. Here's good, right? Yeah, that was like my first thought. Because then they're, they're two shots away from getting us out. The guards? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like they're just a, a little concerned that uh, uh, yeah. SGW is lying second and third here. Probably going here yeah. or playing something here to raise an after. I don't love, I don't like this, but I, I also don't think we peel. So Rob making his way through the uh, original 16 lounge here. And we'll see what he has to I say. Agree. Yeah. I was, exactly. I'm like, if we throw a guard, she's probably. I mean, they're trying to, they might be okay with the force here. Well, that's so are we. Yeah, I agree. Right? So, so she wraps, you, and then... And then you, you you just make sure she can't use it. Yeah. Right? So I think what you have to do is you, I, I think you should guard it. It's your first reaction, and I agree with you. Okay. Okay? So we just have to be happy scoring one here. I, I agree. I think that's yeah. that was the goal, so... Yeah, so she, she'll she she'll try to establish a more on this side. And then you may have to guard that one out too. Yeah. My only worry is like she she gets a good one and she runs our rock in and then they're sitting one and I'm, I'm, I've got but, a piece but of the button. We're, we're okay. That's okay. The scoreboard's still fine. Okay. Like I, I don't I, I don't want to do it for them. I know. Yeah. So I think you you just have to play it out that way. I'm just giving you the next sequence. Okay. 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 Like right. you never do this. Well, you, you could, but then you're just leaving that for her. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. I feel like we have to guard. Okay. Do you like okay. here? Well, that part I'm confused over. Oh, okay. Um, I was giving I'm here for the draw around. So, that then. But Amy, conversation like, there between the uh, the coach and the team. Yeah. Seems like Rob agrees with Graceland's yeah. original yeah. instinct, which is to throw the guard. You you heard them say they're okay scoring one here. Uh, that would leave them up two, and you know they probably feel good about not giving up more than two, and then you'd have the hammer and the extra in that scenario. So the options were to guard this redstone because it's a very short run back for Serena and then it would be completely buried. The other option would be to draw around everything and put the yellow stone right on top. The danger there is if you come a little bit light, then it leaves Serena this slash and, and again, and then they're even more buried. Or even if you make it perfect, Serena might have a slash double. So guard is the call. You heard Rob say, we don't want to make it for them, so if you put this guard up, it will force some type of difficult shot for Serena. They're still probably two shots away from getting that yellow off the button if you uh, if you make this, so. No line. Okay, gotta sit. Let it die. Good spot, seven, five. So exactly where they wanted it. Bobby. And now you're gonna see Serena try to put another rock in the house to potentially slash in. The only risk with guarding there is no matter what you do, you're you're leaving Serena a potential hero shot. And so now if she puts this one in top eight. This is uh, curling a little more than they were hoping, but uh, I was gonna say if they bring this one into the rings, okay. now all of a sudden five, five. Serena makes a hero shot and they're lying a bunch buried. She's got nothing this way. I just never wanna come here and leave her the opening. Yeah, no. Sit two? Yeah. Will we two? If we hit a full eight, we're two. Okay. Okay. I don't hate that. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind this call either. Should run dead straight. You're at the point where you probably do want to kill a redstone. 
And if you roll in for second shot, that's positive. They definitely wanted Catherine's Rock a little deeper to prevent this. The only risk here is you roll about halfway. And then it gives Serena a hit and roll, although, again, you're still scoring one in that scenario. You do need a bit of a roll here. Oh, that really curled at the end. Will it stop in time for second shot? It won't. And in fact, we'll roll right out of the rings. Yeah, that was, uh, looked pretty good most of the way down and then just really bent at the end. And now Serena will have this double run if she wants it. So as we said, this was uh, really the only danger in playing this guard is you're Perfect. hoping that your opponent misses it. If Serena can make this double run back and stick, she's going to be lying too buried without the hammer here. Biggest shot of the game so far. Wow, that curled a mile out of the hand. Is there going to be a little plan B here? Oh my goodness. Well, we saw Gracelyn Richards make a plan B earlier in this end, and uh, yeah, that was supposed to be a double run back. Comes right through the hole. Quarter? I think it's, it's easy to make with the end. Yeah. And now they're lying three without the hammer here. So a thin double now for Gracelyn Richards, and uh, this is one that you have to make or at least get close to making, otherwise you're in danger of giving up a, a big steal here. Lovely shot from Gracelyn Richards. Has an answer for that shot from Serena Gray Withers. Fantastic thin double, they lie one. That was uh, really well called and swept. They had faith that uh, with that outturn, or sorry, intern rather, the, uh, the rock would come back, fall off a little bit, and they leaned on Amy, Re Amy Wheatcroft sweeping there. I'm sitting right behind the thrower and uh, right out of the hand that was not hitting the red stone, okay. but they just knew, they trusted that it would fall off. They knew their sweeping could get it there and okay. that's a, a fantastic answer from Team Wildcard 2. So drawing around everything with her last stone here is Serena Gray Withers. Still a potential steal opportunity.
So it'll stop in time for shot, but this is uh, definitely makeable for two here for Team Richards. I think we're going to be like... Just a, a little more weight than Serena was hoping to throw, and it stayed a little straighter as a result. Yeah, I agree. And you don't have to move this red one very far for two. Probably there. I think it's going to run pretty straight. Hers just did. Okay. Do you like there with that ball? I was going to say, I think that's minimum. But hey, if you're sure about it, that's good. Let's go here then. Okay. I honestly think we're going to have to curl it. Like, I think that's max. Okay. So Because with 2-5, with I was probably getting here. I think, what am I aiming for? Like a 3? Yeah. Like a 3 or a... Yeah, I think that's close. I think okay. that's good. Okay. Let's go there with a three. All right. So what they're talking about here with two, five, and three, it's actually they're they're cutting out the first number of that. They're talking about throwing it 12, five, or 13. So 13 in, on this ice is just through the house. You got to move it like maybe a little bit more than just through, kind of a a soft hack, if yeah, you will. Definitely probably going to be carving past the guard. I'm gonna throw just back line. Like, I, we need to get our one here, so. So there you go, you heard her say back line, and okay. you don't have to move it too far, just yeah, uh, move it about three, three feet, feet and that'll be good for two. Final stone here in seven for Graceland Richards. This is uh, a little more weight than they had called. Will it curl enough? Will they be able to move the red enough? No, they won't. So just uh, a hair overthrown on the weight from Graceland Richards. It hangs out. And after all that, Serena Gray Withers steals one. We've got a tie game. Richards will have the hammer when we come back. Don't go anywhere. There's no doubt running any kind of farm comes with day-to-day -day challenges. We built a new facility two years ago. Technology has totally revolutionized dairy farming. Fast Milk gives us the tools to provide high quality standard of milk, making sure our equipment is all well taken care of, make sure that those animals are housed and cared for appropriately. They continue to push us with their standards to make sure that it just gets better and better. So it, all come, so it all comes down to this. It is the eighth end here of the women's draw three at the SGI Canada Best of the West. Okay. Serena Gray Withers and Graceland Richards having quite the battle and that seventh end really a battle in itself. A couple accidental makes, one from Sophia Rihorchuk and one from Serena herself. A nice answer from Graceland Richards, but just could not come up with the final stone to score two. And so Gray Withers ties it up. Richards will have the hammer here in the eighth. Gray Withers looking to improve to three and oh. Richards looking to improve to two and one. Okay. 
So two guards up here for Zoe Cinnamon. We saw Amy Wheatcroft's first a little bit heavy, so they elected to sweep it through the house. We have uh, another final out here as well. Taylor Reese Hansen defeating Emily Cherwinski. So Reese Hansen improves to two and one. And Cherwinski drops to one and two. And it's uh, another eighth end between Jessica Y. Trichowski and Christy Watling. Watling with two in the seventh. So they lead six to four. Y. Trichowski has the hammer in that one. We'll keep you posted. Good, really good. So good shot there from Amy Wheatcroft. Not fully buried, but, but close enough. About a third buried probably. Yeah, that was my first thought. Yeah, I think you have to. Line. So they're not going to hit it. They're going to draw around everything here. It's often in the tie game in the eighth end, a race to the forefoot. So the only thing here is uh, they just want to be sure not to set up a little slash or a little run back okay, for tight. Amy. So this one just a little light from Brianna Cullen and we will check out our EY shot of the night. And for this one, we're not gonna go back too far the seventh end after a, a bit of a fluke from Serena Gray Withers. Gracelyn Richards steals herself and uh, makes a fantastic thin double and roll up. Was very close to making that rock count as well. So there you have it, your EY shot of the night. Yeah. So with three reds out front of the house, we're gonna see some peeling here from Amy Wheatcroft. I think it's probably a double peel and roll up on those top two. Got that one a little bit tight, but does get rid of both reds. It's Sticks so right there, and it's still Richard's lying one. Just release me, didn't move that much. I didn't right. time that. That was three, right? Yeah. So nice draw there from Brianna Cullen. You can't see much, can you? Yeah, right there. So good look at it there. You can see maybe a third, a thin third of it from the hack. So we're gonna see a appeal. Just firm. Into it. Yeah. Okay. The out turn. I don't know if they're trying to double run here or not. I would imagine you'd probably love to get both of these guards moving if you could. Yes! Might also send Hard. the red into the house. Hard! Shooter. It looked like they were okay. just chasing the straight peel there and they got it. So Gray Withers still lies one. Half high. Be on this side of center. This spot feels pretty good, though. Yeah, it feels. You got it. Line's good. Half high. Hair tight. Half high. Line's good. Line's good. Second guard here. Half high. Catherine Clifford. Half high. 
You're gonna have to curl, actually, maybe. Hi. Easy, easy, easy. Just, just bite center. Yeah, yeah, curl a bit. Yeah. Curl, curl. We're gonna be biting. Good. Really nice. Good manage. Eight. So nice shot. Same way. Okay. Eight three. Eight three. So again, seems like maybe just a straight peel of the top one. I feel like I might be more inclined to chase the double here or hit the one that's closer to the house. I don't yep. know that this rock is really Clean. guarding a oh, whole lot if oh, you get rid of the, the back red. Clean. You're good. But straight peel made all the same for Sophia Rihorchuk. similar weight. Yeah. I just think if you don't peel the back one now, Catherine Clifford could make it so you can't access the back one. That last one didn't didn't nice curl day. maybe as much as they would have liked. This is really diving here. Good. And that's pretty good. Yeah, just put in a bit of a tighter pass. So it could be a bit of decision time here for Graceland Richards. I don't know how much longer you can I think so too. peel for. I guess the thought is yeah. that the uh, the red one is accessible, but Bump? I don't mind chasing this okay. one right now. Are you Especially because if you make this, you're buried behind that red center oh. guard. Oh, <laughs> I know. Oh, we'll be playing a tight to the guard then. With bum? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think the calls here is, is either to do this or again, you rip that red guard that's closer to the house. But if you rip the red guard closer to the house, it may give, it'll give Serena a chance to guard the guard the shot stone even better. Uh, this is uh, a big shot here for Sophia. This is just going to get that top red guard. Which is not a terrible result. So you can see there that uh, Graceland Richards is able to see some of that red stone, that red shot stone. Same broom? Same broom, yeah. I think just different damage and it's... Yeah, we'll keep it putting down. Speed's fine here? Yeah, I'm yeah. quick First stone here, Serena Gray Withers, all tied up here in the eighth. Just trying to guard the, trying to guard the same shot they just tried, and that'll be in a pretty good spot. So we'll see what Richards decides to do here. I don't know that you can peel a guard now. Down. You have to try something. You have to try it something in the house here, I think. We could always try this. It's difficult, but I know. But I mean, just, even if you do like But if I stick weight, out enough, if, she, if we bump it back and I stick out, she's playing hit and roll and then we're really... Yeah. I honestly think that's good. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know if that's there. Yeah. Okay, I think we try this, play back line. Okay. 
Do you ever hate like back 12? I think same weight I just threw almost. Cause coming two three, like two five. That's a hack. Yeah, cause you were just a three and I think it, well it's really gonna curl. You're gonna have to carve it past the guard. So a three or a two five? I prefer a 13 personally. Okay. So they just want to come down and move this red stone out of the forefoot. They're talking about throwing again that sort of backline weight that they were talking about last end. As you heard Graceland say, the, the risk here is that you is that you do make contact with the red, but you roll into the open. I would leave Grey Withers shot and would give them a hit and roll on top of their own, and then you're pretty much dead. So you really have to make sure you get to the nose of this one. There's there's really just not a lot of pro side here. You, you either make the shot or everything else is pretty bad. Three feet less? Tipping the guard is bad. Rolling off of this one in the house is bad. Being too light is bad. And missing it all together is bad. So pretty much just have to make this one. Good line. Clean. Yep. So Amy Wheatcroft trying to bring this one over. Gotta go. Do they have enough of it to move it out of being shot? Ooh, they don't. And again, just uh, maybe a little more weight than Graceland wanted to throw. And if Serena draws one top button here, it's uh, gonna be very, very difficult for Team Richards to score here. With a good mini set, but I think we can honestly like... I don't, we don't need to get too close to the one. I don't even mind sitting right there. Okay. Right? So. I don't mind sitting I don't mind a like, more neutral group. I'd around. like to be There's deeper so she can't come to this and be shot. Okay. Yeah. I think definitely I think, here, yeah. here is optimal, but I think there's tolerance. Make her make something good. Okay. I like okay. the intern. I think. Just like it. Because really we put one. Yeah, I like it. Either way, just The same room as yours. Okay. Yeah, so pretty similar. Weight. So you heard Serena say they, they want to be biting the button or, or fully top four because they don't want to give Graceland the opportunity to play the out turn and come onto that back redstone and be shot. So they'd love to bite the button. And as I said, if they bite the button buried, it's going to be very, very hard for Graceland Richards to score. So final stone, Serena Gray Withers, a potential game winner. A little bit of room. Close. Room, room. Top Line's four. good. Tight. Room. Top 14. Tight. Room. Line. Tight. Coming down. Top this is flirting with that center guard. Hard. Hard. This is flirting Hard. with that center guard. You got to get by. They do. Now does it stop in time? Got to stop. Got to stop. Does it stop in time? Well, I think there is a shot here. Good sweep, guys. It went just about a rock further than they wanted, and I do think with quiet weight, there is a shot here for Graceland Richards. That was a 5-2, so if I play a high 4, yeah, should be good. Mm -hmm. Agree. Okay. Where was her broom there? Her broom? She's close to here, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. I'm seeing there. I think with my out, that should play good. All right. So it's a heavy draw here for Graceland Richards. I got that. You have to skinny that center guard and just move the red shot stone far enough. Yeah, pretty much. I think repeated throws is like making this pass pretty quick. Okay. It's probably similar to your last draw. Okay. Make sure you're carving past the guard here. So final stone here for Graceland Richards in the eighth end. 
Needs a small tap back Mine's for the good. win. Mine's good. Easy. Mine's good. Don't kill it. Oh. Room. 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 This is a little wider line oh than we've seen so far. Coming down. Curl. Curl. This really needs to come over. No, you're Amy Wheatcroft it. trying, but again, just a, a little bit heavy from Graceland Richards, and that will slide by. It's a steal of two for Serena Gray Withers, and what a comeback. Steal of one, steal of two, and a 6-4 win. They will improve to 3-0. and Team Wildcard 2, Graceland Richards drops to 1-2. and two. We'll be back in about an hour and a half time. Brett Walter up against Damon Bernath. You won't want to miss it for everybody here. In Saskatoon, I'm John Cullen. Thanks for tuning in. Goodbye.